When you enter a grade for a group drop box, the same grade is entered for all the students that are enrolled in that group. You can change the grades individually after you've grade, you, you do it, put a grade in for the submissions if you wish. I'm going to click on Submission Review tab on the nav bar and click Drop Boxes. I'm going to click on the context menu next to the drop box, the group drop box that I want to grade. I'm going to click on View Submissions. Now what's going to happen is, is that the submissions will be grouped by the files for each group. So here's group 1, here's group 2. I think I have two groups for this particular group category. If I had three, then students would do three there. Now depending on the submission option settings, you may have more than one file submitted from individuals in a group. You may want to review the tutorial on Dropbox submission options to learn more because you can restrict the students to only having one submission and one file and only one submission. So if you want the students to actually do a group project and have only one file that you can grade, you want to set your submissions um, options appropriately. I'm going to go ahead and click on the evaluate across from the group's name. I'm going to click on the name of the file, one of the files. Now the viewer will show you the group file. There's no need to download the file. I can go ahead and look at it. And then in the score drop box on the right hand side in the evaluation area, I'm going to go ahead and put a score in there. If I had a rubric associated with it, I can actually grade it from the rubric. Then what you're going to do is you can scroll down and you can add a file that you want to send back. You can record audio and record video if you so desire. When you're ready, you can go ahead and publish the grades, um, and that will release not only the feedback, but also the grade. And if I click Publish, it will push the grade into the grade book for every single student that's on that group, enrolled in that group. If I want to change the uh, individual student grade, so for example, there was a student in there that maybe didn't do as well, and maybe you have some peer review and you want to reduce the grade and not give them the same grade that everybody else got, then you're going to click on the link underneath the score box next to grade item is the name of the, um, the group drop box. If I click on that, that will bring up kind of like the grade item and you'll see all the items, all the ones that have the grades in there are all part of this group one. I can now go ahead and highlight, change the grade, and I can do that for any individual that I want. And go ahead and click Save, click Yes, and now that will update the grade for those individuals. When I'm ready to move on to the next group, if I have another group, I click on Next Group, and then I repeat the whole process again. When I'm all done, I click on Back to Folder Submissions, and this will take me back to where I can then look at the submissions again.